So, uh, tell you what I'm up to today. I can't do a motorcycle ride and show you what's going on. Because uh, I don't have a motorcycle. But, yeah, I'll make sure I make keys. What I can do. What I can do is go get a bird scooter and roll through uh, some of downtown here. Cool stuff, right? It's only like uh, in the 60s out right now. I don't mean the night. I don't mean like the 1960s. I mean it's like in the low 60s, so uh, it's nice and cool out. That's the extra shirt. Let's go to the first floor. Because you've never seen an elevator before, right? So, yeah, it's uh, it's like in the mid 60s, low 60s outside. Uh, it's slightly overcast, but the sun keeps popping out. Been watching out the window. Got up early this morning, early. Got up at like six, which is normal when I'm working. And uh, that's normal when I'm working. Check out these stairs. Isn't that cool? Anyway, oh, look at this. And it looks like it's been sprinkling, so. Very cool, this is right where I left this. And it should have like three miles of charge on it if they didn't charge it. So let me get that going and uh, let's go for a ride. There's the parking garage. There's the scooter we're gonna use. It's got lights, and I have to remember to put my my weak foot forward and do this backwards so that you are pointed the right way. And here we go. The little motors on these don't have enough uh, power to get you going. You have to kick off. But they do have quite a bit of go once you're moving. They just don't produce the torque. Kind of cool. Uh, you wouldn't think that a Midwest city like this would be as progressive as these guys are, but they've got these birds. They've got rental bicycles down there, which is way cool. And I am not... That's totally off-handed for me. And the uh, city buses are electric. Which is kind of cool. Well, it's not kind of cool. It's very cool. A lot of people living downtown here like to run. Which is good. It's healthy. I can stand to do a little bit of running. I don't know how much of the jiggliness is coming out in this. Um... Every one of these scooters I played with, all two of them yesterday, this one and another one, they uh, they have flat spots on the tires from running over all this rough pavement. <laughs> so. And then you can kind of flex your knees a little when you go over the really hard spots. Now this thing will go a lot faster than this, but uh, I don't know, on the sidewalk, I don't think that's the smartest thing in the world. Now like here where it's a little more open, I don't mind doing it. I'm looking over my left shoulder here to make sure that I'm not gonna get run over by a car. So uh, here's the bridge on Douglas. 
as you probably noticed, the place I'm staying is on Douglas. And there's the river. This is the Arkansas River. Very cool, very cool. This is where uh, your sense of balance really has to come in. <laughs> These friggin' uh, scooter things. There we go. And this thing just goes on like this. Hopefully my pocket is shielding your microphone from the wind there. And I will tell you this. Uh, because there's, there's a good headwind. I'm, I'm going into the wind here. I will tell you this. It is really nice out right now. <laughs> I mean, absolutely gorgeous. Little flat spots on this scooter's tires are just beating the hell out of me. My glasses are bouncing around so bad I can hardly see anything. <laughs> so hopefully you're not having that issue. I won't know till I sit down to edit. There's a, a statue to some pioneer thing there. She's got a kid with her. All right, here we go. I'm gonna go back the other way here in a minute and uh, show you there's like a war memorial further up. But that's north of here. I'll tell you what's really cool too, is once you uh, sync up to these scooters, it'll tell you how much range they have. So this one said two miles. Uh, we can go to that one over there, dump this one, stop the uh, stop the ride on this one, and go to that one. And if it's got more range, we can just trade off, you know. All right, let's go warp speed back to Douglas Street. All right, there's Douglas Street. Uh, over here you see the the Riverview Apartments. That's, that's kind of a cool setup. They've got boats you can go on the river. I don't think I'd do that. Those are those uh, pedal paddle boats. Kiowa Comanche artist Black Bear Bosun created an enduring tribute to the, his artistry and to the spirit of tribal culture. This keeper of the plains Striking his personal sculpture, you'll see just a short walk up this path. Now the most recognizable symbol of the city of Wichita, the keeper faces Dewey's greeting the rising sun. Veterans Memorial, that's where we're going. A little bit of little bit of how to get where you want to go. We're full speed. This thing says we're doing 15 miles an hour. I'll tell you what, that'd be a lot of force to do a face, face plant. <laughs> uh, that's why I don't like running them full tilt. Little birds. Like I say, it's about seven o'clock this morning. Uh, 
it's nice out it's approaching 70 though it's supposed to be 95 today and that is like the hottest i've seen it here i'll tell you um i see a lot of anger about that I, honestly i didn't know kansas was uh a confederate state i didn't think about that reconciliation with malice towards none with charity for all with firmness and the right as god gives us to see the right let us strive on to finish the work we are in to bind up the nation's wounds to care for him who shall have borne the battle and for his widow and his orphan to do all which may achieve and cherish a just and lasting peace among ourselves and with all nations. Honoring both sides. So whatever your thoughts on the Civil War, whichever side you think you might have been on, uh, how you take it today, that's... Uh, It's uh, good to remember what happened and study it. American Revolutionary War Memorial. This is what caught my attention as I was blowing through here yesterday. This is what caught my attention as I was blowing through here. Yes, dedicated to the crew of the submarine USS Dorado. Dorado is how they pronounce it around here. There you go. And then they have an actual Mark 14 submarine torpedo. decommissioned obviously right isn't that something isn't that something developed in the 1930s on a very meager budget these torpedoes were successfully deployed during World War II destroying more than 4 million tons of Japanese shipping man anyway Uh, USMM World War II Merchant Marines dedicated to all Marines Semper Fi there's more stuff in there I'm gonna I'm gonna skip on down the thing I find that interesting but uh, oh no this is taking me in the wrong direction okay let's go back I'll pick up down there and uh We'll keep going. All right. Oh, there's a whole friggin' flock of the damn things here. What does this say? Directory. So this is the uh, statue that we saw earlier. Ring of Fire schedule, nightly at 9 p.m. This is cool looking bridge. Hey, this one doesn't have flat spots in the tires. Isn't that cool? Circle of Life. Sacred Hoop was the all-encompassing symbol of the entire world. 
Looks like uh, Avatar. There's the statue that they were talking about. It talks about the Plains Indians. Very cool. Very cool. Way of the Horrors. Stay on the paths for your safety. Stuff like that right there is why. These things have flat tires. Flat spots in the wheels, whatever you call it. Vio. We don't have access to those. I have the bird app. times because we've looked at quite a few houses in this area and uh, I, don't, I think these light up at night and I really need to get out and go see because that would look just so cool I think it reminds me of uh, the entrance to LAX let's keep going cross the river back to the other side so uh how you like that? <laughs> so, uh, I'll tell you what, if you want to get around town on these scooter things, you probably ought to be prepared to walk a ways. Because we're getting ready to fire up our third one. And the way it's sitting here, I'm thinking that uh, it might not have much charge to it. Let's see what we can do. Here we go again. All right. Well, there we go. And it is just a little bit better than walking. This one says, and it's been sitting for a minute, it says it's only got one mile of charge on it, so it's gonna die here in a minute too. I can tell you right now a few things is uh, going downhill will help get a little more range out of it I wish they had regenerative braking because it'd be charging itself right now all right and now we're on kind of semi flat ground but oh no I need to go up there because I can tell you if we get across that bridge there's a whole bunch of these things over there and then I can go downtown. Alright, well, this isn't going to take us very far. This is the one I just got rid of coming around the other way. Uh, let's see. Whoosh. I'm going to let that girl go. That one won't start, so apparently
I thought these were birds. These are those VO ones too. And I don't, like I said, I don't have the app. I don't need another stupid app. Not one of those is a bird. Try to do this downhill thing as much as possible. I'll tell you, I'm about uh, half to three quarters of a mile away from <laughs> where I belong. And what I don't want to do is walk that whole way. I mean, I will. I just don't want to. Oh, that's another one of those. Ducks. Hi guys, excuse me. They've got this, uh, they got this bridge and they've got an old steam locomotive over it. Really cool. And I am way to the east of my, uh, my apartment. I'm not gonna get eat up by a car. Um, yeah, this is. I kind of want to go. That's what I'm looking for. Just wait. <laughs> Good lord. This is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm looking for. So this is one of the uh, it's one of the original brick streets in the city. I'm only gonna go a little ways because I don't want to kill this scooter. Good lord. Get up here on this concrete. There we go. many cool little areas all over town like this. Let's go do this. This says Museum of World Treasures.
I'm not gonna lie, the wheels on those look bigger and the battery packs look bigger. on the concrete. Do my dead level best to stay on the concrete. Oh, this building was in uh, this building was one of the pictures I put in the uh, last video. Cool building. I'm gonna turn off here. That's uh man. That's a construction site, and that's just beating this thing to death, I think. You can see just fine without me going down there where there's construction going on. The statue missing there, that's kind of weird. Chicago Pizza and Tavern. Pizza sounds good, doesn't it? Well, it does right now. This is kind of cool. I saw this the other day driving through. Some of these are birds. There's a theater, kind of cool. Hey. square here a half naked man picking up trash I'll show you this yeah in that the parking garage down there at the end is my building and then the window directly above it is uh, the window I took this picture out of very cool very cool and that's the wallpaper on my phone right now. <laughs> so, oh man. Oh man. God, this is going to be a long one, isn't it, guys? This is going to be a long one. You gotta love that hair. <laughs> you gotta love that hair. So, uh, there you go. Oh, jeez. My shoulders are whipped. <laughs> My upper back is worked. Uh, good lord. How you doing? Some floor. Boop. Uh, that ain't near, near the workout riding a bike all that distance would have been. And would we kill three or four of those things? <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. <coughs> but yeah, it's a little bit of work standing on that dude. 15, 16 miles an hour. Especially when the battery gives out on it. <laughs> you gotta hold yourself upright. My, uh, my tummy feels a little bit uh, tight. That's good. That's good. That's a good entry level workout for somebody who's radically out of shape. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Home sweet home. Hopefully, uh, 
hopefully that is more interesting than sitting in an apartment talking about it and just showing some pictures. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that. My uh, props. Oh, dude, this is warm. It is getting warm out. Here's the temperature right now. Or, well, a few minutes from now <laughs> in Wichita. It's a little humid and wearing two shirts. That's not something I normally would do, but uh, I kind of had you propped up with some paper towels in my pocket. That's how we were doing that. Anyway. Actually. Oh. It ain't a motorcycle, but <laughs> I still had a good time. I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, man. I hope you enjoyed that. I know I did. Anyway, you guys have a good one. I'll catch you.